here's the proteins. Now we talked about whey protein isolate, and this is just to give you an idea of what's in that product and how it would, would affect your athlete. Whey protein isolate, we talked about the important protein in there, that fast absorbing, really high end, high amino acid profile protein. It averages around 90% protein. Whey protein concentrate is about 80% protein. But here's where the real gimmick starts. There's a lot of different types of whey protein concentrates. So when you look on that label and it says whey protein concentrate, you still don't know where you're getting. You could be getting a protein that's as low as 25% to as high as 80% protein. This particular product that I showed you, as bad as it was, where this was the concentrate and these two were the isolate and isolate casing, it gets a lot worse. This is the actual formula. It was one third, 80%, one third, 34%, and one third, 25%. So to get this product even cheaper, instead of just filling it with a decent protein and kind of deceiving about the other two, they took that 80, that they took the 80 percent and split it with 34 and 25. Now you have an athlete, this third of the protein, he's getting 75 percent lactose, fat, carbs, sugar, cholesterol, and garbage. In this third, he's getting 66 percent. In this, he's getting about 20. So you can see how you can buy a tub of protein on the street that could actually cost the manufacturer two to three dollars to make, plus the cost of the bottle. Where the bottle actually in the label and the lid costs more than the product in it. But that's not really what matters to you. What matters to you is when you look at a protein powder that you're gonna to give to an athlete, what do you wanna give them? If they wanna recover from a hard training session, they want amino acids into the muscle, they wanna build muscle, then they're looking for a good source of protein.